First, a simple phone holder. Let's press spacebar on the first feature to see the first step. It consists of one base sketch with sharp corners. That sketch was extruded with the pad feature. The next step is the pocket, which extrudes a triangular shape on both sides. That makes the object having sloping sides. Let's have a look at the sketch, which is part of the pocket. Here you see the triangular shapes. After that, fillets were added to make the design a lot smoother. Let's quickly walk through all these steps. Finally, the small sharp edges were softened by adding small chamfers along all sides. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. You can export 3D models directly to their website with this macro. Then select how it should be manufactured and configure your project details. Finally, preview your 3D model and submit your manufacturing request. Next is a headphone holder. The base sketch consists of straight lines and a curved part. That part is made with the arc tool. The end line of the arc is aligned with a construction line to make sure the end part is aligned with the center of the arc for a better looking shape. After this, the sketch was extruded to both sides. Two fillets were added to both sides to smoothen the sharp edge. Also, four small fillets were added to the corners. Finally, all small sharp edges were softened by adding small chamfers along all sides like you've seen on the phone holder. Consider subscribing if you like my content. Thanks. The third CAD project is a spool holder tube. The sketch consists of straight lines only. Then the sketch shape was rotated around an origin axis with the revolve tool. These four chamfers were added to finish the part. Here you see them on the model. You might want to check out my 3D printing channel for more tutorials and projects.